What's up nerds, I'm the Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Bounty of One. Now, this time we are very close. I've played some off-screen and we are very close to having 50 gold nuggets. Which means we will get Roger, as far as I know. And so, after today's episode, or maybe in today's episode, depending on how we're gonna play, we might be able to unlock the last, or as far as I know, the last character for now. Also, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Exactly. Okay, one thing I want to do now is I'm going to play all in and I'm going to play him completely different than I usually do it. Because usually I don't care for much except for uh, cooldown reduction and also damage. This time I want to go for, of course, still damage, but also attack speed. Why? Because that's really not something that Olin needs, but I just want to see. Also, we are now at infamy level 10. All foes deal one more damage to you. That is the worst. Trust me. I There's a high chance that we won't even get to the first boss. But I just want to try. And also... Uh, again, the higher the infamy, the higher the chances that you get more gold nuggets or the higher not just your chances but the higher your score is at the end all right so we're just gonna run around we're just gonna do the usual for now try to level up as fast as possible to get at least one more damage upgrade uh, and also sure raise our maximum health because Every single enemy or projectile that hits us does two damage now instead of one, so that is pretty much deadly. I tried a few a few rounds with that and it's just it's it's just the worst. Thing is there is one ability that if we can get it would be incredible, although I kinda think it isn't really possible to get it with this because there is the one ability oh no the fast goblin one there is this one ability if you remember that says if you lose two hp at once or in quick succession you heal two hp it has a i think 30 or 40 second cooldown but i mean that would be very interesting standing still gradually gradually increases your attack speed until you move again we're gonna go with that because like I said, I wanna go for a attack speed build. We only start with 0.8, so yeah, that's not really good. Shots pierce through one more enemy. I mean, if we go with an attack speed. No, 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 no. We can't really go for that because the problem is our special ability will then also pierce. Like I keep saying, Pierce and Bounce is really bad for Olin. Even if we don't go for his special ability, it's just still something that does damage. Just not as fast as it should. Alright. Again, I just want to go for an attack speed build because that's just stupid on Olin. And that's why I want to try it. It's not a good idea. That's why. And, I mean, we don't really get anything, so let's go for crit chance. I also want to get one, just one attack upgrade, so that we can kill all the little ones in one... Oh, wait, we... Yeah, we only kill them in one hit if we hit them with a crit. And now we have a 15%... Oh, damn it. 15% critical hit chance. But that's not nearly enough to do, like, anything. All right. Kill this guy in hopes for some good abilities. Like I said, if we could get the one that heals us when we take too much damage, that would be incredible. But some healing in general is, I think, very necessary. If it's just the one that heals us every time we level up, that's useful. Oh, how? What? I... That, that wasn't the hitbox. That really wasn't the hitbox. Uh, wow. Yeah, let's go with the dash. I can't even go and pick up the coins because we're just... It's too dangerous right now. Especially since we're at one health. Ooh, that was good, that was good. 
Gain more damage. Great. Finally dealing a little bit of damage. It would be interesting if you could just uh, change around the infamy levels as much as you want. Like, what I mean is you have to have infamy level 1 through 8 if you want to have infamy level 9. But there is something like more shooty guys are appearing or they shoot fast or stuff like that. And if I were to say I want to go like, uh, what's it called, infamy level 9, but I really don't want to go for the shooty guys, it would be nice if I could just say, okay, I want to increase the damage they do, I want to increase the amount of enemies, but I don't want to increase the shooty guys. You know what I mean? That I can't just freely choose my infamy levels as I want, not as the game dictates it. I get it, it makes it harder this way, but it would be it would be fun. Then again, I think, isn't there some uh, basically make your own rules thing? Or do I... Uh, am I thinking of another game right now? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I gotta check it out later. Alright, we're gonna stay here now for a second and see how fast we can get in the few seconds until the shooty guy shoots. Okay, that was decent. Oh no, I think we're dead. Uh, gain one dash. You know what? Yes, and we dash immediately. I think that just saved us. We're gonna go with more attack speed. Again, not the thing that all in... Oh my goodness, I thought we would kill him in one hit. Shit. Ah, that was bad. That was really, really bad. Let's retry. Thing is, it would be easier... It would be... <laughs> it would be better to just go for a build that's working better if we wanna if we wanna get more gold nuggets. But again, I just kinda wanna try some stupid stuff. And in this case it's all in with attack speed because why not? Because that's just stupid, you shouldn't do it, usually, and that's why I wanna try it. Also they still do the uh, double damage, so maybe yeah. I mean, you know what, screw it. If we can get some ability cooldowns, why not, right? Like if we can, if we have the choice between a blue ability cooldown and a blue attack speed, I will go for the attack speed this time. But if it's just like this, like gray or purple, then of course we're gonna go for purple. Like here, attack speed, sure. I would much rather just take the attack damage right now in order to kill the little guys who one hit. But like I said, I want attack speed all in, so yeah. And it was the better color. All right. By the way, a few days ago, I played a round where I, I don't know which of the characters I played, but I had Quite a bit of luck with the with the dashes, and I think at the end I was at like eight or nine dashes. That was fun. That was stupid, but it was fun. Lower your health is the faster your attack is actually not bad. Like it doesn't do us anything any good right now, but if we get hit even once, that increases our attack speed by quite a lot. Cooldown or gain two dashes. We're gonna gain two dashes. Why not? I think that's more. That's way better right now. Also, the ability that we got last uh, in the last botched round, where we if we stand still, we the we have more attack speed. It's really only good later on. Like with Sarah, it's great in the beginning, but with Allen, it's really only good later on. Because in the beginning, your attack speed is so low, and his, his base attack speed is just so incredibly low that it doesn't really help you at all. Uh, let's increase our health for now. I, we still haven't increased our damage by any point. That kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Boom. Boom, and he dead. Great, give me something good, give me something good, please. Heal one before your dash, but they, a dash base cooldown, no thank you. 
reduces attack speed, also sucks, so let's go for the dynamite and just more dashes. It's not really what I wanted, but hey, it's something. We really don't get any good things right now. It's it's usually when I want to go for a specific build, I just can't get anything for that build. So next time I'm gonna say I'm gonna go for a different build and I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do, go for whatever else, whatever. Uh, <laughs> that, that was a stupid sentence, a really stupid sentence. Maybe you understood what I meant. I'm gonna reverse psychology the game and tell the game that I'm going for something completely different. And the game will believe me. <laughs> Alright, I hate these shoot guys, because they shoot. And as always, I'm really bad at evading them. Because I usually just evade in one specific direction and that's the direction they shoot in. Rerolls for object choices... Sure. Why not? Also, let's leave some dynamite. That doesn't even kill because we haven't increased our our damage yet. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Okay, silver coin. Great. Yeah, it's it's just one gray upgrade. But it's enough to kill the goblins in one hit. So it's really, really what we need. Right, getting a lot of coins right now. It's good. It's not great, but it's good. Right, murder, murder, murder even more. Okay, what do we... Oh my goodness. Nothing useful. <laughs> Let's go for more damage right now. I want to go for a, for a speed build. Yeah, sure you will. <laughs> Game said no. Game always says no to that. That's why I like playing Sarah, because with her it's easy to get a an attack speed build, because she has a... I don't want the projectiles to bounce. She just has a way bigger starting... Um, what's it called? Attack speed. I think she starts at 1 1.6, 1 1.5, something like that. While well, all in starts at, I think, 0.8? Maybe even 0.7? Alright. Currently we're doing alright. We're doing, like, not great, but it's it's something. We level up. We gain more attack speed, why not? 1.6, that's quite high for all in. <laughs> Is it enough? No, absolutely not. Oh, shit. These guys are... They spell doom, basically. Because they are so slow, they are always in a... In a ball of enemies. So I can't really hit them too well. I would have to hit them with my ability, but since they are in a whole lot of enemies... I can't. Okay, uh... Cooldown reduction would be good. Crit would actually be good. Working damage. You know what? Let's go for crit. 15% is 15% for now. Oh, shit. Good thing that there are still some hearts lying around. I think up there was another one. Yeah. Let's go with this one. Dash away. And hope that the enemy runs through. Yeah, it was something. It killed most of the little ones and that killed the big one. Awesome. Ooh, what do we have? Uh, explosion, damage, each have a dash. You gain 100% chance of dealing critical damage, but you deal three times less damage. <sighs> that would bring each attack down to 40. We're gonna do that. Currently, that's really bad. But if we are to level up our damage one more time, or not even damage, we can go for just the crit damage increase. Yeah, it's just 0.3, that's, or it's just 3 damage, that's shit. <laughs> but again, if we can increase our critical 
damage or our critical output, we don't really have to go for damage, regular damage increase. Because every single hit will be a crit. Oh shit. I did not get far enough with the dashes. Can I? Yeah. Alright, so yeah, every single hit, as we see, is a crit. Oh shit, oh no, oh my, oh no. But it's still just not a whole lot of damage yet. But with this, we wanna just go for increased critical damage, because that just basically brings us way more damage than just going for regular damage. I hope that made sense to you. It made sense to me. Let's do this and just throw a bunch of TNT things. Oh no, oh no, too many enemies. Too many enemies, getting crowded. And I need to go down there. Okay. I need to go down there because I think there are quite a lot of enemies that I killed with T uh, TNT or at least a few. Uh, we don't need critical damage. I mean, the best we can go with now is regular damage. Even though it really doesn't do too much to us. But I mean, we're at 57 each hit. That's almost the same as we did before we got the ability. But again, trust me, the ability is good if you can increase your critical modifier. And also your attack speed. So basically, there's a lot of if in this build. It just completely went away from me. <laughs> it got away from what I wanted it to be. Oh, come on, just get hit, please. Thank you. Okay, give me something good. Give me something good. Whenever you take two damage in a row, heal for two health. Let's try this. It actually, it actually worked. We just, we had the hit animation, but we didn't take any damage. So it worked the way I wanted, or I thought it would work. That's awesome. But it has a cooldown, and we can see it. Wait, I'm gonna show you with my cursor. This is a cooldown. I think it was 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds. Let's go with attack speed, why not? Boom. Yeah, slight, slight boom. Alright, can we please kill this other boss or uh, mid-boss guy? Because yeah, like I said, each time we take damage now, no matter who hits us, it always counts as two damage. That means that the ability as long as it's up will always trigger. So we take the damage and we gain it back. Um, range of her area, we don't have any area of effect, so let's go with speed. And let's do this one more time. I think that should kill... Oh, come on, yes. Great, great, great. Next ability. Um, damage, oh no, four times. Our damage is not a whole lot. <laughs> Totally forgot, because we our damage is decreased by like uh, two-thirds. Totally forgot about that. Well, whatever. Boom. Yeah, that doesn't really do much. We really need more crit multiplier. Which is something that I usually get like in every single choice. Every single time I can choose something. Every single level up, I usually get... Oh, damn it. The crit modifier. Oh, wow. Finally! Okay, so now we deal 85 damage. That's a big spike. And if we can get more than that, it's an even bigger spike. Alright, we are already at the Sheriff. That's... That's bad. And we shot our ability into nowhere. Why did I use all three of my dashes? Like, the TNT is nice and all, but it just doesn't really work against that guy. Especially since he just stays there. He just stays in place and shoots. That was really bad. I mean, I can do it like this and hope... Nope, he doesn't have any heads. Of course, I should have thought about that. 
If he doesn't have heads, he just won't stand still because he doesn't have anything to shoot. Yeah, thinking and playing and talking, really not my strong suit. Let's do it like this. Oh my goodness, so many heads. Okay, we lost two health and immediately gained two health. That is very useful. So with this ability and maybe some cooldown reduction, we could play a really tanky build. <laughs> right, it doesn't even have to be tanky. We, four health is more than enough because you just gain back everything you lost if you can just dash away. So maybe this ability and just going for dashes. This ability and dashes and then cooldown reduction because the dashes also reduce your cooldown as we know. Or um, dashes get also reduced by cooldown reduction, whatever. Stuff like that. I had a point somewhere there. <laughs> Okay. We're dealing, like, not a whole lot of damage, but we are dealing damage, is the thing. So I have no doubt that we can win against Rex, Cupcake, and Brutus, unless I do something very stupid. By the way, speaking of Brutus, my aunt once had a Chihuahua named Brutus. I'm not too fond of Chihuahuas. But this one I really, really liked. He was a gremlin <laughs> in the best possible way. And then when he died of, yeah, of old age, it was just, he was just, <laughs> the word gremlin made even more sense. Let's say it like that. Like bulging eyes, uh, constantly shaking because he was always cold. He got like little coats at the end then <laughs> he was just yeah he wasn't doing too well oh he was cute a weird one okay we lost health got it back damn we really need more crit multiplier we are only at 300 percent but that's a good thing with this build like with the ability that makes you 100 percent of the time crit because the crit multiplier, I think the, the the weakest one that you can increase is 100. So it's one time your your whole attack damage that you get as a bonus. So if you have high attack damage, you just gain that again. All right, what do we get? What do we get? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Deal area damage each time you dash? No. Reload all your dashes at once, but use all your dashes at once? No, I hate that. But also, when your projectiles deal critical damage, they pierce. Let's try it. Because the thing is... Ah, oh, fuck. I, yeah. I screwed up. I thought that our ability would count, like... The crit would be when it explodes, but no, it's when it hits and then it explodes. But then again, we are not we are not playing for the ability this time, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, look at this. Every time a projectile crits, it pierces, which means as I just it, it goes through every single enemy because I can only crit. There is no chance for me not to crit because of the ability. That is quite interesting. 400% damage, 113, yeah, we're getting up there. So yeah, we basically have a railgun. We cannot, uh, our, our attacks cannot go to waste. So even our ability, it does, I think, about double the damage that we do regularly. Yeah, 227, that's pretty much double. That is double. Uh, that's awesome. So no enemy can... <laughs> No enemy can hide in enemy behind enemy lines. That's awesome. Okay, that was actually a very useful thing. Uh, shots pierced through one more enemy doesn't matter because we already pierced through everything. Our shots can't be stopped, is the thing. So all I need is are some good angles, and I can just destroy everything. Like, it doesn't really do too much on bosses, like, um, Crazy Denzel will actually, like, 
we won't have any benefits from that with a, in his fight. But that doesn't really matter. Okay, give me those gold coins. Nice, give me those gold coins. There you are. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I mean, there are some... Yeah, let's go with attack speed. 2.5, like for all in, that's quite a lot. There are some hearts lying around, and we are full health again. And yeah, I mean, just look at that. We just shoot through every single enemy. There is no way for us not to pierce. That's awesome. Our damage is... Oh, shit. Is breaking up and as soon as things go well <laughs> every single time it's just this time our uh, dash was not far enough one two okay 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 let's go to the menu and see if what i heard is correct you need to give him uh 50 gold in general this and just the amplifier. Uh, well, <laughs> interesting, interesting. Do we? Need to win one more time now? I have no idea. Seems like either someone was wrong or maybe there's another thing that I'm not missing right now. I'm just checking the achievements to see. I mean, there are two hidden achievements. That veteran is an achievement hero. That's just win with whatever. Hmm. Unleash, Unleash Ranger. Win a run in Infamy level 10 with Sarah. Well, we're gonna try for that next time. Maybe, maybe we will get the shopkeeper once we gave him 50 gold and then won another round. I'm not sure. But anyway, we're gonna see next time. <laughs> Sorry that I teased him and didn't get him. Thank you, nerds, so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye.